Howdy gaming people, Toby from Pixel Pop Network here, uh, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Pylon Rogue. Uh, there is already a written component of this review, however I feel that um, I probably really need to do a video part just to sort of get across a few of the, um, the, the points that I'm trying to make uh, and perhaps explain the game a little bit better. Um, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, so let's get 20 to, thousand, 20 to 30 thousand uh, words per second here. Um, so we're going to do a new run, four characters, uh, you've got uh, Luticus Maximus, <laughs> uh, basically a knight style character. Um, if we click on him you'll see there's different builds. So there's one here, it's like a dual shield, and we've got one that's locked here. Alright, then we've got the the golem, or the rock. Again, there's multiple builds. Uh, this one's not available yet, coming soon. Uh, and again, I have to defeat a boss to unlock that one. Um, the archer character. So she start, you start off with like a, a bow build, a crossbow. Wield, dual wielding crossbows uh, and what I'm guessing is sort of an assassin class uh, which is yeah the stabstress uh, she's locked until you defeat the final boss and I imagine she's got a couple of different builds as well uh, for purposes of this this run though I'm going to use the archer I seem to do the, the best with her even though they seem to classify her as immediate intermediate rather um, but yeah all right so um, so probably should point out uh, this isn't an action RPG so if you're looking for a Diablo style game um, this isn't it um, this is a rogue like road light sort of action game um, if I can bring up my, there is no sort of there's no skill tree there's no skills there's no ability points there's there's nothing like that um, there's you know a weapon an armor and one other and and they update and change maybe only once maybe twice through the course of a well as far as I've gotten obviously I suppose if you if you better than me and you're getting further you might update them more but it's it's not like a, a you, you know an ARPG where you would expect oodles of loot dropping and then you're sort of sifting through it looking for the best weapon to use uh, it, it's not like that at all in fact inventory management is is almost non-existent and you won't have to worry about it for a large part of the game all right so something very really reminiscent of say Mario Brothers um, we move across randomly generated map. I'm going to grab that chest. Cursed necklace. Nearby corpses sometimes explode, dealing 50% weapon damage. That's kind of handy. Alright, so that's just going to sit in my inventory, and most of what you pick up is going to be just passive like that. You don't need to do anything with it. Oh. Alright. So there's nine rooms and three, three locked chests in this area. Uh, you'll note Possibly you noticed at the top there I had an indication of how many keys I have. I've currently got none. <coughs> I've got four scrolls, which allow me to use my uh, special ability, which is number one on the quick bar down there. Um, 250 hit points, yep, and eight rooms in this area. Um, so left mouse button is attack. And that, I'm turning the mouse there using my, uh, sorry, I'm turning my mouse to, to swivel the camera there and that will probably take you a little bit of getting used to. Uh, holding on the button, I have a multi-shot. Alright. Cool. Alright. Uh, right mouse button is dodge. And it's faster than walking for this character. Now the other characters have a defensive move each. Uh, however, they're limited by a, a, like a, a bar, um, and because they're melee based, you're sort of supposed to have all of the timing, <laughs> which I just suck at. Alright. They do, the melee characters have more special attacks though. Alright, so we might... Even in this instance, that's my special. I've used the scroll just to get me a, a bit of a start here. All 
and life is really precious in this one. You will get the odd life drop, um, but don't 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 bank on them. Uh, they can be. I've had some games where I, I get a lot of life dropped, um, and that's just you know blind luck. Most games though, uh, you'd be lucky to see one or two uh, health replenishing hearts or whatever. You know, I'm already down a you know, fifth of my life. I'm still in the first room. So, as you can see, the, the, the look of the game, and this is the, the sort of a bit of a trap I fell in, the, if you were just, just look at screenshots of the game, you'd, you'd be forgiven for thinking um, that it's an ARPG. There we go, there's the life. Oh, lucky, spoiled. But, uh, and it, and it certainly could feel a bit like a twitchy ARPG, you know, like sort of a, a high GR run on Diablo, maybe. Um, but it just doesn't have the the uh, the inventory and skill system that you would expect. The focus here is is really just staying alive and getting as far as you can. I noticed a scroll drop too. Great, so that replenishes my super. Now. Um, the developers have said in uh, the Steam forums that they are going to be releasing a balancing patch to, to make the early part of the game uh, a, a little bit more forgiving, um, which should be neat. I feel some of the, the I mean, I understand that the, they want the melee units to move reasonably quickly because it would create an unfair advantage for um, the ranged archer character because she would just pick them all off before they can get anywhere near her. But I'm kind of doing that already, and it just feels a little odd to see a mummy moving at, like, Olympic sprinter speed. <laughs> when stereotypically they should be moving so slowly. Alright, this is a big room. This is actually a really big room. Alright, you want to make sure you break everything as well. You're going to need every single gem you can get, which is the currency indicated down the bottom of the screen there. Uh, there's no map, there's no mini-map. Tab just brings up um, sort of everything uh, around the edges there. Hey! Uh, 2% chance to bleed enemies, 50% weapon damage over 4 seconds when you hit them. Nice! Alright, so yeah. That'll be a lock chest. Again, I've got no keys. A key! Um, the seven rooms remaining. I won't need to do all of them to finish this zone, but if I do finish all of them, I will get like a, a bonus chest, a big chest. Um, yeah, so that said final wave. Um, typically on desert zones or arid zones, whatever this is. It seems to be that most of the rooms that you go into only have one um, wave. Uh, the jungle map, though, I found most of the rooms have multiple waves, but less, maybe less, um, monsters each wave. You see what I mean about how fast those mummies are moving? Alright. Wow, this is being a really generous run, I must say. Okay, so I have bees. This is a new one for me. Hopefully they attack stuff. They do. That's really nice. All those sort of things. Like, I had one game where I had a, um, like a skeleton minion uh, that was chasing everything around. That was really handy because uh, it would keep a lot of the, the melee stuff at bay. Uh, and that's, I guess, really what it's going to be the main object of the game here is, uh, in terms of all the trick to survival, is just taking it as easy as you can um, and making sure you get those those bits of, you know, good loot. So there is going to be an RNG factor there, I suppose, where you, if you got rubbish, you know, didn't get health. Um, there has been some argument, too, about the, these, the, the poison throwers. 
uh, they, they do the damage you take is sort of very quick and instant from when they lob it. Um, but I guess the argument there is get good. There is warning signs that it's coming. Okay. More bees. <laughs> Alright, well that sucks. Would have, would have liked some health, actually. Just remember, this is just one zone on the first map. So, actually finishing this game is going to be a really serious challenge. Damn it, I can't see a thing. What's that, another scroll? Lovely. I'm stuck on something. Damn it. Yeah, so... I did say in my written review as well, occasionally I found myself fighting the camera. Uh, and this is probably a... This room's probably a good example of that. Yeah, you see what I mean? Though? Like that, that spit damage was is very hard to avoid, which means that you're going to always take a little bit of damage, and that 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 gets cumulative. Uh, and you know, for a melee based character, I would wager, you know, my, I mean, I, I I really struggle with the melee based characters. The amount of damage that's coming is just incredible. Uh, okay. Sure, I like critical hit damage. Still, exploring's fun, um, and when things do go your way, there's certainly a sense of achievement. Um, I am not, at the best of times, uh, a particularly good, nor particularly fond of rogue-style games. Um, the rogue games that I, I have played and enjoyed are ones that are maybe a little more strategic, um, slower paced, if you know what I mean. Maybe the more traditional, like Rack Rogue itself, where you know you could it wasn't reflex based, um, and that's not to say so that's not to say that this is by any means a bad game. Like I have found myself enjoying this title, um, and for someone that doesn't enjoy sort of um, rogue style games, that should speak. Um, not volumes, but should speak to the quality of the game, I guess. Uh, and if certainly if you are someone that enjoys a challenge and you do enjoy roguelike, roguelike games, um, then give it a couple of patches, and this is probably worth putting on your wish list and, and taking a look at it at some point. Um, you know, visually, it looks great. As you can see, this is up there with, you know, Diablo 3 or anything like that. Any other sort of fantasy combat game you care to mention. Um, sound is good, music's good. Um, the controls took, took me a little bit of getting used to, but just because they're sort of different from everything else that we're used to playing in, with this sort of view. But um, I had thought to use a control pad originally, but uh, I couldn't seem to get mine to work. So that's an item unlocked. So that's not in my inventory. It just means that it's, it's been unlocked in the game and will remain so indefinitely. Like that's that's sort of part of the progress. I know something I was going to mention too is you do get different times of day. Uh, I've done sort of these desert maps during the the day as well, and then the night like this. Ha! My bees are still killing him. <laughs> awesome, go bees! So that's the end of that. I have perished. Um, hopefully, that gives you some idea of sort of what to expect um, with Pylon Rogue. Um, and then from here I can just start a new game or return to the main menu. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I said there's a written component to this review as well and I'll include that uh, in a link in the description below. 
Uh, and by all means, uh, if you found that appealing, have a look at Rogue Pylon, um, or Pylon Rogue, I should say, currently available on Steam. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.